In 2013, Porsche assembled a small group of engineers to design a highly secretive hypercar concept that only a handful of people in the world would know about. Six years later, in 2019, at the 50th anniversary of the debut of the first 917 race car, Porsche publicly revealed a crude but full-size concept that they called the 917 Living Legend. The car was heavily inspired by the Porsche 917K and featured a carbon fiber monocoque chassis, carbon fiber body panels, a turbocharged eight-cylinder engine capable of producing 1,000 horsepower, and it was painted in the Salzburg livery of the very first Porsche to ever win Le Mans. Although impressive, the car was largely unfinished as it had no headlights, no interior, and it was borrowing wheels from the 918 Spyder. Some expected the car to be Porsche's next Halo hypercar, but others thought it was too far-fetched to ever go into production and dismissed it as a design study. But later during an interview, Porsche design boss Michael Maurer hinted that Porsche was working on a new hypercar that might feature a retro design. And then on May 9th of 2019, Porsche released the following video. Then in April of 2020, Porsche presented a number of drawings for not one, but two different versions of the 917 hypercar. The patented drawings showed that the car was now complete, with headlights, an interior, and its own wheels. The new designs also featured numerous exterior updates, including a redesigned rear end, active aerodynamics, and a cooling system that utilizes a horizontal engine cooling fan reminiscent of the original 917. But the most significant changes are the car's cutting-edge aerodynamics that have never been seen on a road car before and could have only been designed using computational fluid dynamics, a sign that this design is intended for real-world use. There was also a second variant that featured more aggressive aerodynamics, including an extended splitter, elevated dive planes, extended side skirts with freestanding vertical fins at the front and rear, and a second stage wing at the back. This most likely would be the more track-focused Wysock trim. When the drawings were first discovered, there was a frenzy within the automotive journalist community, and everyone jumped to the same logical conclusion. If Porsche was sinking so many resources into redesigning and patenting the car, they must have future plans for it. The timing of the car also seemed well planned as it coincides with the next generation of hypercars from Aston Martin, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Toyota. This was considered to be a significant clue because when Porsche produced the 918 Spyder, they were competing with the then next generation of hypercars from McLaren and Ferrari, forming what is now known as the Holy Trinity.
the story of Porsche's next hypercar blew up on the internet. But shortly after, a source from Porsche denied the car was going into production. But still, others from within Porsche are not denying their intention to produce the car. In an interview with Marcus Bauman, Porsche's engine development manager, the question was asked whether the 917 would be a dedicated EV. Bauman responded by saying, maybe, but the car could also be a perfect project for a combustion engine. Because it's only a small number of cars, they do not really influence our fleet emissions. I don't know which engine it could have. I have an idea, but it's far away. Bauman also hinted at a potential launch in the mid-2020s. With all the evidence on the table, it certainly looks like Porsche at least intended to produce this car. But perhaps the COVID pandemic has derailed this project like so many others in the automotive industry. But if the intention was to bring the car to market in the mid 2020s, there's more than enough time to get it done. So what are the chances that Porsche actually produces this car? Well, kind of good if you consider certain factors. With all of Porsche's direct competitors currently developing next generation hypercars, Porsche is all but certain to respond with a hypercar of their own. We've seen similar patterns from Porsche before with the 918 Spyder, where Porsche first showcased the 918 concept at the Geneva Motor Show in 2010, and after gauging the public's response, decided to put the car into production and eventually sold it as a 2014 model. We know that if this car is produced, it will be in extremely limited numbers. We could probably assume that Porsche would produce 917 of them, and we know for sure from the public's response to the concept unveiling that all of them would be sold long before Porsche ever confirmed to the public that the car was being produced. We also know that Porsche has gone to great lengths to finalize and then patent the car's design. And then we have Michael Maurer and Marcus Bauman all but confirming that the car will be produced. At this point, there's no definitive evidence saying that the car will or will not be produced. But should a 917 hypercar appear on the track in the next year or two, Porsche has clearly let us know it was coming. Thanks for checking out this video. For more Porsche content that cannot be found anywhere else, click below to subscribe to this channel.